welcome to section 10 of the crystal mixing tutorial. To start off with, we'll go through and bounce um, all the tracks that we edited in the last video. And as you can tell by now, um, mixing, the mixing process itself is uh, time consuming. So it's good to get a routine down that you're comfortable with. And as you get more experienced doing this, the routine will become second nature and everything will speed up proportionally. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and clean up the front end of all the tracks by uh, shortening them up and doing a quick fade in on them. Now, in this, in most cases, you want to keep your ruler on bars to beats because we're working with tempo-based music and we want to make sure everything locks to the tempo. But for this case, we're going to go ahead and select the seconds setting. This gives us more divisions per measure. So as, we, as we're zipping through and dragging stuff, we can get closer to the downbeat of each one. And in cases like these two tracks, or the following tracks, where we want them all feeding in at the same point, it makes it real easy to zip it over, make sure it locks in place, and do the fade in. Okay, let's give it a listen and make sure we didn't cut off any um, audio that we wanted to keep and we have no clicks and pops. Okay, that sounds good to me. Next, we're going to uh, work on the lead vocal some more. I'm just not happy with the reverb that's on it right now. I would box up the stars. It's making it sound sort of washed out to me. So what I want to do is I want to swap it out for the crystal delay. Now this unit has 10 channels of delay that you can use, but we're only going to use one at the moment. So we turn off the sinks. As you can tell in the video, I'm having problems um, nullifying this. I forgot that you have to turn the volume control down on the channel to shut the ins and outs off on the channel, which goes to show you that no matter how much you use the software, you can still have a brain cramp. Okay, now the time is uh, tied to the beat per minute of the song itself. Um, one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, triplet feels. What we're going to do now is just run through and try to find something that fattens up the vocal and fits pretty good. If it makes you happy, if it makes you smile, I'd wrap up the sun. I would wrap up the sun. I would box up the stars. We'll go ahead and use the uh, mix control to adjust the balance between the wet and the dry signal now. If it makes you happy, if it makes you smile. Wrap up the okay, sun. let's hear it in context now. You came here all along with big city dreams and nothing to lose. Your family made you look back home, but I'm still here for you. I wrap up the sun. I will box up the stars. Okay, let's go and do some more balancing.
Okay, I think the uh, delay helped the vocal immensely, gave it a little more clarity and giving it some room, whereas the reverb sort of um, made it sound washed out. Now we're going to head to the master section and add um, a crystallizer and a reverb. What we're going for is to punch up the entire mix, trying to make it a little more radio ready. And um, we'll basically just run through presets and tweak as needed. That's what we got to work with, and now we start affecting the entire mix. Okay, that'll work for now. What we're going to do next is add a reverb to the master out and um, start tweaking the controls till we make everything sound like it was recorded in the same environment, make it gel a little bit better. Pretty happy with that. Um, sounds pretty full, pretty punchy. We'll go ahead and keep that. Next up, we're going to export the file. So we select Export Mixdown. And of course, you need to set the left to right locators. In this case, it's very simple. Front one's already set. We'll go down here, hold Control and right click to set the uh, endpoint. And we'll go ahead and export the Mixdown again. Give the file a name. Now Crystal allows you to uh, select various uh, formats to uh, export it as. Uh, the FLAC is um, lossless compression and the Oak Vorbis is like an MP3, but we're gonna stick to WAVE. Now all that's left after this is to burn it to a CD and go listen to it in a few different environments. Um, I like to live with a track for a week or so and then come back and make any changes that I might um, find out during that time. And that's what we'll be doing in section 11. See you there. <laughs>